Wow, I can uh, hardly believe this thing still works. Uh, we're getting ready to go on a, a trip out into the woods uh, down in Smoky Mountains to a cabin in a pretty rural area. And I thought I'd uh, dig up my old HF uh, listening post. It's something I used to do. Oh, well, this is from back in 2006. I'd go out into the, the rent a cabin in the park, throw up a 40 meter antenna, and enjoy all kinds of nice, clear, quiet signals. So I dug out the. Uh, I can't see if there's a dipole down there. It's a 40 meter dipole. <clears throat> used to be whisper, but I added. I whisper on 10 megahertz, but I just added 9 feet. I made it resonant at 7.1, and the, uh, the little uh, SWR meter shows nicely tuned there. But I uh, dug out the old uh, uh, USRP, USRP1. This is serial number 000000, and I'm, I'm really amazed it still works. I got uh, Ubuntu 16. This is UHD 3.10.3, I believe. Uh, first, it didn't work until I plugged it into a, a non-USB 3 port. Even the uh, little uh, uh, Griffin PowerMate still works. Anyway, uh, I have a, a little amplifier. It's a mini circuits ZHL 32A. It's 24 volt. I'm only running it on the 12 volt. <clears throat> Just the dipole. Down there, you can see the middle, the middle of the dipole, a long piece of RG58, the amplifier, and then it feeds into a basic RX board, the USRP1, which is no longer supported, so I was really surprised this worked. But we're getting some good signals here. Let me bring up this uh, teletype, and he, of course, he just stops. I can use the power mate. There he is. There's a good teletype signal. Look at that, we're getting 20 dB signals. So I'm gonna have fun with this out in the woods. Out in the woods where the noise floor is really low. And it just gets better in the next few years as the sunspot cycle improves. Go see what kind of DX we can get. Uh, I have an issue with my volume control. I have to work out on that. For some reason, the volume's broken, so I just hacked in a value that works. This is really. I need some maintenance. You can barely see. I've got filters up here where you can set the high pass and low pass, little complex filters. Except for lower sideband now, but you can adjust those for any pass band you want. Plus, you can uh, record the whole band to disc and go back and listen to bits of it later. I've got several DVDs just full of uh, 250 kilohertz wide recordings I made back in 2006. This will be fun.